Hey, Professor Kudera, this is Brett Welch, and today I'm going to be presenting you my final exam presentation um, on William Lloyd Garrison, um, specifically his text um, to the public um, from the, his newspaper, The Liberator. Um, um, and throughout this presentation, I'm going to be taking the historical context um, route with this, and I'm going to be talking about specifically his text to the public. Um, within his newspaper, The Liberator, some of the people he may have impacted during the time of, you know, the abolitionist movement, and then one final connection um, that sparked interest in me of how maybe William Lloyd Garrison came to be this abolitionist during that time. Um, so to start off, you know, William Lloyd Garrison was a huge contributor to the abolitionist movement. Um, according to the journal article, All on Fire, William Lloyd Garrison and the Abolition of Slavery, not only was Garrison the most significant abolitionist of the 19th century, he was one of the first to advocate complete civil rights for all Negroes. And he does this in his text to the public quite often. Um, to the public, to sum it up, it was basically um, a text that he came out with, you know, pers you know urging and persuading Americans to support the abolitionist movement. Um, and just, he wanted people to see in America that these slaves were not, you know, just animals. They were human beings. They were loving, capable of doing things in life. Um, and he just couldn't wrap his head around why they were so, you know, thought of and so prejudiced against. Um, he just couldn't wrap his mind around that. He didn't, he just, he never understood that. And honestly, I don't either, but I wasn't living during that time. But that was his biggest thing with To the Public. Um, he just wanted to push for the support of the abolitionist movement. Um, and he impacted a lot of people with that, um, especially Frederick Douglass during the 19th century. Um, Frederick Douglass had ran away um, and escaped slavery, and William Lloyd Garrison actually took him under his wing. Um, according to the journal article, Frederick Douglass and the American Dream, Douglass was recruited into the abolition movement by William Lloyd Garrison, publisher of the anti-slavery newspaper, The Liberator. So William Lloyd Garrison, not only was he pushing for his own abolitionist movement, he brought upon a star um, during that movement. Um, Frederick Douglass, um, he was a huge contributor to the abolitionist movement, um, you know, sharing his stories and things that he had went through um, in slavery. Um, and he was a great speaker during that time, you know, pushing for the abolitionist movement. Um, and that's just one way that, you know, Frederick, or um, not for William Lloyd Garrison um, had impacted somebody within the abolitionist movement. Um, he created a great figure um, that I learned about con or number of times during my, my uh, time in school, which is really cool. Another way that um, William Lloyd Garrison may have impacted the abolitionist movement um, during that time was, you know, in his text to the public, he was pretty straight up about things. He wanted things to be, you know, he wanted the laws to be changed, but not only the laws, he wanted the American um, way of thinking to be changed, like I had said previously. And, you know, he caused a lot of controversy um, with the people that had slaves during that time, the Southerners of that era. Um, because, you know, the North, the country was divided. You had the North and you had the South um, before the Civil War. And the North, they had the free slaves. The South, they didn't. So a lot of people didn't like what, you know, William Lloyd Garrison was saying. So a lot of people, you know, sometimes blame his liberator, his newspaper, The Liberator, for causing... Um, uproars like Nat Turner's Rebellion, um, where, you know, a good many slaves were killed. Um, it caused a lot of uproar, and it hurt and helped the abolitionist movement. So that's another way that he contributed to that time. Um, <clears throat> lastly, I made a connection. Um, I was just thinking, you know, we learned about Oladu Equiano um, during this class, and, you know, it kind of interests me, may, was William Lloyd Garrison reading some of these, um, you know, past texts from these people 
who had experiences um, with, you know, the torture that they went through. I know a lot of Equiano, he went through um, a lot of torture when he came over in his middle passageway text. Um, and maybe William Lloyd Garrison read about that, and that's what made him think in that certain way. Or he read other texts about um, slaves that had past experiences. Um, but that was one last connection that I wanted to make that, you know, really sparked interest in me. Um, but to sum everything up, you know, William Lloyd Garrison was a great contributor to the abolitionist movement of the 19th century. Um, you know, he impacted a lot of people during that time. Um, and he was just a great figure in history today. And obviously we can see in um, the present, you know, his push for abolition did um, in fact come to reality you know, once the 13th Amendment was put into play, um, and that he was, I'm sure he was, a, you know, ecstatic about that during that time. Um, but that's all I have for today on William Lloyd Garrison. Um, um, and I appreciate everything you've done for us this semester, and I hope you have a great rest of the year and a great summer. Um, thank you so much.